Hey my foodies and welcome back to Clarissa's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be doing another recipe and this recipe is super simple. We're gonna be doing spaghetti squash. We're gonna be cooking it, roasting it, and turning it into a spaghetti agliolio, agliolio, if that is pronounced correctly, I'm sorry. For the Italians, do not come at me. I love this recipe because it's low carb, it's gluten free, it's vegan, it's vegetarian, all the above. And I think that if you guys start to make this recipe, you'll realize how easy it is. So I've also posted this on my Instagram about like, I think April of this year in 2022. But this recipe was a hit. You guys really, really liked it. So I thought I'd recreate it again because I have a spaghetti squash and it's just been kind of sitting around and I've been needing to make my way to it. So anyways, if you guys have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button right down below, hit a thumbs up, and also turn on those notification bells so that you're alerted for the upcoming video that I post next time. And if there's any particular recipes that you would like to see, please feel free to let me know. I know last time I made a bangin' gluten-free pizza for the fall, but you can turn that pizza into any particular toppings. I will list it right above in case you guys wanna watch, or at the end of this video, if you guys wanna watch, make sure that you check it out. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin.
We just finished the spaghetti squash. I threw them back into these little bowls and it smells amazing. Literally, it's just spaghetti squash, garlic cloves, black pepper, red crushed pepper, salt, and olive oil. Five ingredients only. Just keeping it super sweet, super simple, and time efficient. Again, I baked this for 40 minutes and it turned out perfectly in that stringy taste. If you want to cook it a little bit more softer, you could bake it all the way up to an hour. But I need to eat this because I haven't eaten at all and this smells amazing. So let's give this a taste test. It's like legitimately steaming so much. Oh yeah. I hope this is like a hit of a recipe because this is so good. Mmm. I'm gonna get a garlic clove in here. Man, this is too good. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Obviously, it's super simple to make, so you guys need to make it. Tag me at Clarissa's Kitchen. I will repost you on my Instagram or comment down below if you guys did try out this recipe. Make sure that you subscribe down below, turn on those notification bells, give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys next time in Clarissa's Kitchen. Bye!